Hi again, so we're here for another art lesson and uh, this week we're going to be making some hanging names. So, something like this. So you might be able to see that says Angie um, and then you can add a thread and you can hang it from your ceiling. So it might be quite nice to hang up in your bedrooms. Okay, so first of all I need to draw my letters. Okay, so um, I'm going to use some bubble writing and try and make them nice and big and wide so that I've got plenty of space to decorate and colour in with different patterns. Okay, so I'm just going to draw my letters. Okay, so nice big letters. That's my A, so I've got lots of space in there to colour in. Okay, and if you need some help with this bit, that's absolutely fine. Um, a grown up could help you, or a big brother or sister, anybody at home, okay, if you're struggling to draw your letters. Okay, so this is the G. Nice, straightforward I. Here's the card and okay and an E. Okay so that's my letters drawn. Okay so the next job is to cut your letters out. Okay so I know that you're all really good at with scissors but make sure you're careful and if you need any help again ask somebody that's at home with you. So we're just going to carefully cut our letters out. Okay, so it's tricky when you've got a little bit like that. Um, so again, maybe ask for some help from somebody at home. Don't want anybody chopping their fingers off. Okay, and try not to leave any pencil marks. Okay, so I've got my A. doing this really quickly um, so again take time be careful ask for some help if you need it Remember to keep turning your paper around. A lot of work on that at school. Okay, which makes it easier for you to cut. Lost my eye. Okay. So that you're always cutting away from yourself and then we don't get any cut fingers. And there we go, we've got our letters all cut out. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Okay. For this activity, you'll need either some card or paper. Um, it doesn't have to be white. Um, a pencil, maybe a rubber if you go wrong. Um, some felt tip pens um, or coloured pencils or crayons, whatever you've got at home. You could even paint. Uh, you'll need some scissors and some glue. Okay, so now we've cut out our letters. We need to start and decorate them. 
Okay, so it's entirely up to you what you do. You can colour them completely, you can draw patterns. Um, so I'm just going to do some diagonal lines on this one. Okay, and you need to do both sides of your letter. So you can do them both the same if you want to, or you can do something different. Okay, obviously again, I'm doing mine quite quickly. So take your time. You might not want to do it all in one go. You might want to do a letter a day. Um, I'm just gonna add some spots. So yeah, if you get fed up, maybe do one letter of your name each day and then you could put them together at the end of the week. My next letter, do something different. Um, I'm just going to draw some nice big spots on this one. Okay, if you remember your complementary colours, so green goes with red, so I'm going to use green as well. Okay, I'm not going to do the other one side of that one because we'll be here forever. Um, so I'm just giving you some ideas so that you can go away and do your own. So. Have some zigzags this time. going to be a lot more careful than this and take lots of time. So I'm just giving you some ideas. Uh, so I'm just going to go for a swirly line in between these. Remember with art, I always say it's your ideas, there's no right or wrong. Um, so just have a go. What colour can I use? Some blue. So you can do some block colouring as well. I'm being very naughty and getting it on the table. And I'm allowed to do that because I'm in the art room. But if you're at home, uh, make sure you've got some newspaper or something down so that you don't get into trouble for making a mess. I'm just getting in trouble with Miss Wild for uh, cause she has to clean up after me. <laughs> yeah, it was lovely to see the work that you did from the last video that I did. 
So again, if you do manage to have a go at home, um, if you can dojo me or your class teacher, um, I know that Anna sent me some and I saw some work from Katie, which was lovely. Uh, I know Lucy had a go in my class. Um, Evie Lee did some lovely work. So it's really lovely to see what you're doing at home if you can send us some pictures. Like I say, if you get fed up, um, just put it aside till another day, or maybe you've got somebody at home that wants to help you colour in your letters, and that's absolutely fine. So that's all my letters coloured in now. Okay, so when you've finished your letters, now you need to stick them together, okay? So like I showed you earlier, you can do them um, vertically, so one underneath the other, and then maybe you can hang that from your ceiling, or if you want to, and that's what I'm gonna do today, you can stick them uh, horizontally going across. So with your glue stick or whatever you've got at home, we're just going to arrange our letters and stick them uh, next to each other. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on there, like that. Okay, so have a think about where you want it before you start gluing. So my G I'm just going to stick there, and just a little bit of glue, and my I. I think I'm going to slot in behind my G. And I don't like that. So remember you can change things. We don't get things right the first time every time. Um, so it's fine to change things if you don't like it. And then finally, I'm going to put my E on the end there. Okay, so you can see if I haven't stuck it to the table. Let's move that there. And then you've got your name going across and that might be quite nice to, I can't lift it up, to um, stick on your bedroom door or something like that. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I hope you have a go at home. Like I say, you can do it in felt tip pen, pencils, paint, whatever you've got at home. Um, you can use card or you can use paper. So have fun and send me some photos to see what you've done. See you later.